get started and how to set up your promoted beam or it's called a Pinterest ad. That it's so similar to a Facebook from a Facebook ad, it's unbelievable. You're going to see uh, what I'm talking about in a minute. If you watch some YouTube videos, you will find that literally they've been, um, it's so different from what you see when you log into your, your Pinterest. Pinterest is a very uh, mobile platform. There's so much happening. They, they, they are changing so many things to help you uh, promote your content and bring it to the people that you want to bring it to. So I want you to get very excited to get this done because it is absolutely exciting. I'm going to show you exactly how to start one from my demo site. Uh, so you won't see any demographics, you won't see any statistics because I want you to see what you would see on your own uh, dashboard. So let's get started. Uh, the basics. First, you need to have a Pinterest business account to be able to create promoted pins. And if you have not yet created one, by now it's free to create a business account on Pinterest. It's Pinterest, it's business.pinterest.com, or you can turn your existing uh, personal Pinterest account into your own business Pinterest account. The other, the other, the other way is to actually create a new branded Pinterest account that will serve your business because maybe you have been saving all kinds of things on your personal profile and you don't want people looking at it. So simply create your free business account to turn your existing one in, or turn into existing one into a business one. You definitely need to go ahead and apply for rich pins if you haven't done so by now so you can access your individual pin stats. Again, it's simple to do via your profile settings, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's go and get your first promoted pin set up via my demo site. I'm gonna take you through some basics right here on this uh, presentation and then we'll move on to Pinterest and get things done. So how to use Pinterest ad platform, the new promoted pins tutorial. This is what you need to do. You can, you can, you can do one of the following campaigns and I'm gonna show you uh, which one, but we are focused on driving traffic to your website or blog. You want to try that one and see how it works because the whole idea of Pinterest is to drive traffic to your blog and offers. Obviously, you know by now that those people that are driving traffic to their uh, direct products are not getting as much uh, as much traction because people want to know you. People want to know that you're the right person. People want to know that you're the right brand. So they want to get to know you first. And your blog and your website should have that information ready for them. Your about page, your home page, uh, something to, you know, some give them some free value so they can see that you're the authority or the right person or the right brand to buy from. So you're going to see one of these when you log into your uh, ads back office, right there on Pinterest. You could create an awareness campaign. You create an engagement uh, campaign. You could create a traffic campaign or you can promote your app. As in, we have a travel app. You can promote your app, whatever it is. Are you an app creator? You can create your app on Pinterest. Pinterest is an amazing platform. Now, you can also go ahead and name your campaign and set your daily ad spend. Uh, and you can even set a lifetime ad spend. So usually, if you're going to go ahead and use the, and get a traffic and set up your traffic campaign, you will see something that looks like this. We're going to see this in a very quick more. Uh, you can, you have to set the name of the campaign. You have to name it so that you know what it is. And you can set an optimal maximum spend for your campaign. I put a fiver there just for demonstration. And uh, that's what it is. You name your campaign, you set your lifetime ad spend so that Pinterest will not take more than that. Once you hit that uh, lifetime spend limit, Pinterest will stop your campaign. And also it gives you a benchmark. You can benchmark. How am I doing when I spend $5? What do I get for my bank? If I spend $10 maximum, what do I get for my bank? How many click throughs to my website did I get? You are going to set all this up. So let's go and fine tune your campaign. Let's do this. Let's zone into your audience, your interests, your keywords, all that good juice. Let's do this straight away. And uh, I'm going straight onto the website. This is my demo site that, as by now, you know what it is. And we go straight to ads. Uh, the only way you are going to be able to, to, to do Pinterest ads is if you have your website verified. You see, that's my website for the demo ad. It is also the website where you normally do your trainings, where you find your information, your trainings, everything. So you know that it is the right site. 
practice. So I am actually training you on the site that you log into your product. So let's go right ahead and go to the uh, ads overview. This is what you get. This is what it looks like. Like I said, you won't see anything here because it's for demonstration purposes for your training. And you're going to scroll down. This is your, your dashboard. This is where you can see uh, how many folks actually saw your, uh, your pin, how many engaged with it, how many clicked through to your website because that is what you are intending or that, that you know, how many clicked through to whatever the link is on your pin and how much you've spent in that last week, your total spend, everything. So it gives you a whole overview. In fact, I believe this is even better than Facebook. It's easier to read. It's easier to understand. The Facebook uh, ad uh, dashboard is kind of really technical. The Pinterest one is made easy for even the non-techie person to understand what they're getting. So like we said, you can do an awareness campaign, an engagement campaign, a traffic campaign. You can promote your apps. Uh, you can, you can, they show you your highest performing pins and you can promote that or you can prom promote your lowest performing pin, especially if it's a pin you want more people to see and you can promote that. Like I've said before in the information in your training, never ever promote a pin from the pin itself. You have to come into this dashboard. This is where you get a better ad uh, cost per click for your money. And you know what I mean when I go deeper into what you need to do to do your campaign. So let's go right ahead and, cr and create a promoted traffic campaign. That's what you do. Uh, as you can see, it, give you, it gives you various options. You can build brand awareness where you want to, more people to see you. You want more your brand to be more visible. You can, and, and you get charged per a thousand impressions of your pin. So a thousand impressions is quite a bit for someone who does, who has maybe less than 10, 20, uh, 30, 50 impressions. A thousand impressions is quite a good thing. And if we play the 80, 20 rule, that means you actually may get 200 people saving your pin and again, 80, 20, uh, 20 percent of that coming through to, to to your to your website that means you've increased traffic to your website way way more than you had before so boost engagement with your pins that means you want more people saving liking and even maybe uh commenting on your pins saving is repinning clicking on your pin clicking through to your website you might want to do that you definitely want to go for the traffic to your website pin. This is you're sending people, you're motivating, you're inspiring them, you're telling them, I am the brand you want to engage with, you want to lock up with, and here is where you can do that and send them to your website where they can get to know you more, where they can get interact with your content, where they can find your products and order good juice. You can also, like I said, you can do, you can promote your app. If you're an app developer or you're an app promoter, you can drive traffic to your app. You can even add traffic to your website because that's what we want to do and that's what we're focusing on. Like I said, you can do any of these. The, 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 the actions you're going to do on the next page are the same. The difference is you're doing it. You want a different end result. So let's get traffic to your website. And this is what you will see once. Like I said, if you've been watching YouTube, this has changed. Uh, Pinterest has added a lot more. It's more It's more exciting. There's a lot more insights. You can zone in quite quite closely. So we're going to go right ahead and give our campaign a name because we are choosing our campaign goal and we want, we, we, we are saying we've chosen, we, we want traffic to our website and now we give it a, a, a name because that's what we will, we will check on. That gives the campaign a name that gives the, of the result you want. If you want more click-throughs, uh, tell uh, call it say Jules Cow Poly Traffic Campaign. So let's just go right ahead to go uh, to say RCC Ace Traffic Campaign because we're driving traffic to RCC Ace, which is our website, right? Good. A lifetime spend the cap. This is a cap on how much Pinterest can charge you maximum total spend on this campaign. You can put in whatever your ad spend, your ad budget is. If it's 10 pounds, put in 10 pounds or dollars. If it's $50, put in 50. If it's 200, put in 200. Whatever you set aside for this, set it here. Let's just put a tenner for argument's sake, huh? you know, for just demonstration sake. And then you go on to add more details. And you go right ahead and uh, you give your ad a name. Uh, for example, I'm going to say um, affiliate, affiliate, affiliate platform or affili affiliate reach. Okay, let's give it that. 
whatever you want to do you you you're into you're into fashion you saw before there was women's fashion if you're into health and wellness you're into travel you're into uh, uh training whatever you're into you're into a uh, shoes you're, you're into makeup whatever you're into you're into give it an ad group name uh, you can run this campaign continuously on a daily budget or you can pick specific dates and we're going to do that straight away we're going to give it a week we can we can then cap our budget on our daily ad spend yeah we've given it a, a, a maximum total optimal spend as in a lifetime budget for our ad which is right here you can see it we put in 10 quid that this is the campaign lifetime spend cap so once we hit 10 pounds there is no more pinterest cannot charge cannot serve this ad anymore we have hit our lifetime spend but now we are going to give a daily ad spend which we're gonna say five dollars so whatever the lifetime cap is it can't be the same so the lifetime cap needs to be something above what your daily ad spend will be so if this could be 20 50 100 2000 1000 to 5000 10,000 whatever you're willing to spend on Pinterest it's a brilliant brilliant platform to grow your audience to to build your list and to make sales direct sales so we're gonna put a fiber there and uh, you can create an audience or you can actually uh, creating an audience is quite simple it gives pinterest gives you uh, a target group of people based on visitors who've already visited your website now if you don't have many people who've been coming from pinterest to visit your website you might know or you might want to give that a miss if you could go to a list of customers that you upload that is if you have a list if you're already uh you're building a list you already have a list of customers for instance from aweber or get response or mailchimp you can upload your list here uh, for instance i have a list of people that have opted into my pinterest uh my free pinterest offers my pinterest webinars my pinterest campaigns uh the book that i wrote the art of pinterest profit so you can actually pick up a list of uh, uh that you have already from your auto responder or crm you can create an engagement audience uh, with pins from your confirmed domain now my confirmed domain right here is rccs which has never had any pin pinned from it because it's a membership site and it's an affiliate site so i've never pinned anything from there so if i did that i'd be totally getting zero a click so i wouldn't do that and again uh a lookalike an actor -like, this is a look it's like a lookalike audience on facebook it's an actor like audience on pinterest uh, again, it feeds into the one above, an engagement audience. And like I said, because this website uh, is not a website that I pin anything from, but you could be pinning things from your blog and therefore you have an engaged audience. You could have, uh, you could be building a list uh, specifically for a specific product or service that you give and you already have a list so you can create a lookalike or actor like audience. So you have various options. We will stick with uh, uh, visitors to your, who went to your website. And uh, we will, you can definitely go next. Uh, you can name your audience and we will say RCCS yes, visitors, fans. And a description are uh, people who have clicked on our products on RCS. Okay. You will need to create a Pinterest tag to create an audience, which we are not going to do because it's going to derail us. So I was just giving you an overview. In order to create a Pinterest tag, you just follow the instructions right there. If you click on that, it opens, you, you literally, uh, you can right click on that and open in a new window or you can control and click. I did control and click. So it opens in a new window and gives you clear instructions on what to do in order to create a Pinterest tag. So follow those instructions. There's no need for me to uh, uh, reinvent the wheel when Pinterest has given you the right guidance, their guidance, their advertising standards, it takes you through the process and you can even contact them if you're stuck anywhere. So let's get back here. So we're not gonna create an audience because that would mean taking time to create tags and everything. And the, the, the website we're talking about is not a website where we pin stuff from, so again, you don't want to go there but if we were doing that for jules cowpolitical where we pin a lot of stuff from in fact we, we've got uh the art of pinterest profit right there as a product that people can click on the home page we we already you can choose your interests so i like i said you can drill down and zone in and target a very specific a very specific uh 
demographic of people. Now, you're not going to deal in animals, actually. You, you have all these things happening. You can do DIY, education, film, food, drink, gardening, hair, beauty, health, and beauty technology, home decor, humor, men's fashion, outdoors, photography, science and nature, sports, tattoos, technology. We're going to go technology. Now, remember, this is a travel uh, a travel specific account but we are going to go technology why because i know most of you uh, deal with technology and when you click on that there are various other options that you should cut that you should when you click on the on this side little arrow it gives you various other technology and you can you can tick or untick whatever you find is not right up your alley, your alley. or you can go and untick that and go to travel because that's what we are about on this demo site. And then you can choose beach travel, budget travel, culture travel, family travel, everything travel. And then you go right ahead and uh, that's done. So now you have picked that. You can actually pick other, other things as well. You can add things there. So you can zone in. I would say pick one area as opposed to picking several areas because you want to really zone in and know whether your pin actually brought in results for you on those specific areas like i said some of these things may not be i mean shopping travel you leave them all there you're going to create a pin and an ad for a pin that's already in that area this is very important keyword research you have gone through the modules for keyword research and now you're a keyword keyword uh you know you're you're a star at that so you go and bring your keywords you can import them from outside from your you can import them from uh, somewhere where you've already uh, brought them in or you can copy and paste over here as long as they are separated by um, what's it called commas uh, so I could go and import my keywords but that would take a while so I'm just gonna type uh, some here travel uh, travel tips travel destinations parking tips family travel luxury travel bad, budget travel where to eat solo travel so you can see what i'm doing here I'm t and it's all about travel gourmet travel recipes uh travel fashion i'm literally hitting every travel area that i know of culture travel adventure travel uh, safaris beach travel you get the picture you get the picture you add the keywords and they are added right there now here's the trick you can also search for keywords pinterest can give you some keywords if you click on travel pinterest actually brings for you some other keywords see italy travel europe travel places to travel once you click on that it actually automatically comes down here and is added to your keywords bucket list travel quotes um so it literally gives you a whole lot and you can just even add travel there because i haven't added it there actually so travel is here as well so travel travel as in travel okay or you can just click add all and everything comes out here Travel destinations. Did I add that? Okay. Travel tips. Was that there already? Oh, we can we removed it. Okay. So, and then let's look at locations. So you've added your keywords. Very important because that means people that come to Pinterest and go to the search bar up here and search for these keywords your pin should show up because it's being promoted you're giving pinterest some of your money you're paying them some hard-earned moolah to actually promote your content which is linked to your your pin your pin is the gateway to the content you're asking people to come to so your pin should be really good it should have those good gorgeous primary colors the reds the oranges the yellows the deep sky blues the azures the you know those beautiful bright colors primary colors do not go for the grays blacks and dark browns those will not get your pin really clicked on people love brightness on pinterest and pinterest loves bright too 
So use those bright colors. Okay, UK locations, when you click on that, you are actually given specific locations. You can actually click on UK right here, and then you click on that, that little arrow there, and you can quite literally even choose which parts of UK to go for. You can add the US into the mix because you're saying, hey, I want all those. And you have now 225 selected as opposed to just UK. You can, you can actually select all. This is where you can select all destinations, you know, and that means they've selected everything for you. So you can go all that. You can select languages. Again, I normally like just like to go English. Uh, you can type here, in here, and you, you can pick both of them, English. There you go. Uh, you can pick devices. I like to pick all devices because that means every device is picked. And again, if you are selling female, say, uh, stuff you don't want to be picking males if you want to if you're selling male very you know there are some things that are really for a woman or that are really for a man and oh, and you, you really want a zoning and there are some things that anyone can buy you know children stuff men and women can buy uh, gifts men and women can buy but there are things like uh, women's sanitary wares uh, or makeup mostly those fashion women's fashion again you want to be targeting women on the other hand, male fashion, you want to be targeting both because usually women buy for the men. So you can either leave it unspecified or you can leave it at all genders and uh, not uh, and, and, and tick those because that means you're picking all genders. Now, the bid, the bid is your cost per click, which is what I talked about. That is what, the, what Pinterest is telling you is that uh, we shall charge you £2.31 pence per click through. Now that's a very high bid, and you don't want to be paying that, especially if your if your budget here is ten quid. You probably get four clicks, and that's it, and that's not what you're wanting. Uh, like I said, you can actually go back and change your lifetime spend cap to something more substantial, and therefore you can actually track better. And uh, you, these these are your interests, as you can see. It, it, Pinterest has zoned in and given you what you're asking for here that you're going to show your the people that are interested in those nine interests those keywords that you've chosen you've chosen locations across the globe you're saying english is what you're targeting all devices all genders and you're talking about affiliate marketing well, why did i why did we say affiliate reach and then type travel okay travel travel tips because that's more congruent isn't it we went travel didn't we so okay so that's it. So we were on cost per click, okay? Cost per click, we're going to do $1. I know it's a low bid, but don't mind them. Don't mind them uh, because, seriously, you don't want to be spending more than $1 uh, on, your first, on your first bid with Pinterest. You want to see how it works. You want to uh, have A-B test. You want to track your results. You see all those on the beginning on the overview, and that's where you then know that to increase your ad spend or or can the whole promoted pin ad. Here's the exciting bit. We're gonna pick our pin right here, and uh, you can either the 30 day most you can pick either the 30 day most uh, saved pin or you can pick the uh, 30 day most clicked pin. And as you can see, you can actually see the numbers of pin repins right there. You know that you see that little number right there. That is the number of repins. Now it, that does not tell you whether that pin has been clicked the most. It just tells you how many times it has been repinned. Uh, you can see uh, 13 times it was pinned. It was saved 598 times. It was saved 688 times. Uh, this was saved 13 times as well. Um, so you can see different people, different pins. This was saved 70 times. So let's go and check out 30 demo saved. Maybe let's check that out. So which, there we go. We have some deeper saves and this brings, it, it drills down more into your own pins. That is, uh, that is all about building your Pinterest. That is travel essentials in the last 30 days. As you can see, this is a demo site. So there's not much here. I only use it to showcase what I'm teaching you, uh, and and I still get some repins. You know how cool how cool is that? I still get repins even though this is just a demo site. So how to bag a fast flight fast class flight? 
it's been repainted 81 times, so it must have some serious interest going on here. If we pick that pin and then give it a different name from that, give it a name that you want to uh, travel, travel fun, summer travel. And uh, you can also change the URL. You can change that URL to a to a uh, a different URL. That URL should be the URL on your website that's linked to this to this very specific uh, profile. And so that would be rccs.com. So this URL would be leaving the space. And then you go promote pin. Okay. Now once you click that, you're going to the, the business name you can change that if you like but it's gonna pick the gen, the name of your of your profile uh you need to add all these addresses put your tax information uh, if you're not VAT registered just leave that blank then you click on next and you add in your payment information and you go right ahead and get done now, i'm not going to i'm not going to change anything here uh, i'll just put in uh United Kingdom for number plus forty four. There you go. So you've done all that. Business name, what? Crazy. So there you go, okay, and we go next, and it will ask us to accept the terms and conditions, and once you've done that, you say, okay, enter your billing information, and you add the relevant details here for your billing, you add in your card details, and you submit, which we're not going to do because we're not submitting a promoted pin right now, and once you're all done here, your pin will be because you'll have entered your details here and literally that's done once you submit that's it your campaign starts to run and you will go over here and you start to track your results you start to see the impressions the engagements the conversions a b test a b test what does a b test means it means you create at least one or two other images to test the, with the exact same detail uh, just switch out a few keywords and you know so that you know which keywords are playing for you better send to the exact same link and uh, Name it the exact same name. The only difference is the pin image uh, the keywords and some bits over there And that's it. That's it for me. So uh, posts and uh, if you're not yet a member of the ultimate Pinterest roadmap go on to jewelscalper.com forward slash UPRS and uh, do join us and skyrocket your traffic to your to our uh, that's it that's it it's a wrap do a go ahead create your very first promoted pin app test see which one is doing fine i'm waiting for you you might like to check out our new offering the affiliate just set academy i just the fossil formula to building a solid residual income online which is coming soon so watch this space watch this space